Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Modded Minecraft 1.12 playing here on One Man One Mod. It's Modded Minecraft 1.12, and we are in the Immersive Engineering Pack. Yep, that's our main content mod. Today, we are going to be working on doubling our ores with the Ore Crusher. Let's get started. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are down in the mountain, uh, hollowed out mountain. Yes, we've we've done that. Uh, I'm not going to give you too much of a tour. You can see that a lot of stuff has moved around. I got rid of all of the machinery that was up there and brought it down to this level. We've tucked everything back in here. We'll get to some of the improvements to all of this at a later time. We need to focus our efforts on, well, all of these improvements are going to require ores, and I don't want to be spending uh, just one ore and getting one ingot. I want to double it. And there is something available in the pack for doubling ores. And that is, uh, let's grab out our engineer's manual here. It's this crusher. And so it's a, it can be a little bit pricey. Here's our, our list. Steel scaffolding, redstone engineering block. We've got one of those in the inventory. Light engineering block, 10 of those. Steel fence and hoppers. So very, very expensive build. Let's grab some, some logs while we're at it so that we have plenty of planks to make our hoppers. Where is that? Yep. Um, let's grab a stack of oak. So what I did since the last time we were together, I got rid of all of that scaffolding, all the uh, stairs up and down. I figured, you know what? We'll just go with the scaffolding for now. And then eventually once we start adding new layers into the whole system or into uh, different machines and stuff, we will uh, we'll add other pathways in and around there. But for now, we are going to uh, just uh, do, uh, do it like this. And it's a little precarious at getting down there. Oh, phone is going off. Let us make sure that this does not cause us any further... Um, I don't even know what that was. Somebody should not be sending me text. Okay, late at night. Anyway, uh, so if you just drop down here, it doesn't act like a, a, a what is it? Um, oh, what did, I lost the word. Ladder. Doesn't act like a ladder. Doesn't catch you. You will fall all the way down, and that goes pretty far down. And uh, that might be too much for even my feather falling four boots to handle you have to get right up next to it for it to carry you down anyway what we're going to do up here is put together our shopping list and so uh we probably should put away some stuff here let's put that away we don't need that we might need that we're not going to need the windmill blade where did i have all of that stuff we'll put that in there conveyor belt we don't need quite yet we do need the steel scaffolding we might need the steel mechanical component and yeah let's go from there all right so we need 10 steel scaffolding. We've got four. Okay, we've got the redstone engineering block. We need 10 light engineering blocks, eight steel fence, and nine hoppers. Very, very expensive build. So let's get crafting. Okay, so the, the hoppers, do we have any of that stuff here? Uh, what, do I, what do I have that in there for? Uh, we, we'll need those later. Let's chuck those in there for now. Hoppers. Yeah, we don't. There's the ores and fun stuff we need uh, later. Let's let's just get this going. So we're going to need nine hoppers. That is nine chests. And uh, you know what? We'll just do that. Let's go around like that. That gives me eight. And then another one like that. Come on. Okay. And then how are we on iron we don't have a sufficient amount there how about in here no over where is it that's snow there's iron okay so that should be good and then we'll take uh, these remaining chests here put those in like so so we've got our nine hoppers now and if we check our book you know it lets us know how we're doing okay next order of business is the steel scaffolding and i do believe We've got what we need for that. So let's do like that and that and that. Yep. So there's the 10. 
Should be good to go there. Okay. And then the light engineering blocks. This one I'm going to have to get some help on. So let's do that real quick. Light engineering blocks. We need 10 of these. So that means five sets of this whole thing right here. So that's what? 20 iron ingots, 15 copper ingots. I have five, which means we'll need to come in here. I have pretty much taken out all of the copper uh, on the main levels around this island. So if we ever run into issues where we need some more, we are kind of out of luck. So let's get this set over here. Uh, and that should, that should be fine. We've got plenty of IF stored up. Yeah, 100k IF there. And then we've got 100k IF there. Yeah, we're, we're not even touching it. Okay, so we should be fine on the copper ingots there. And then the uh, we need to get the iron mechanical components. We're going to need 10 of those. And we, we just have the steel mechanical component. I don't know that we'll need that right here. So press molds, not quite what we need. We need the crafting components. And so what we'll do is we'll grab that blueprint, put that in over here. And we should be able to say, or at least find what we need here. Oh, no, we, yeah, we can make it here. Iron plates and copper ingots. So we'll need a few more copper ingots there. Uh, let's, let's see how that is. Um, right here. So uh, 20 iron plates, right? 20 of those. How's the crafting? Oh, I see. So we save on iron plates there. Okay, that's cool. So 20 iron plates and 10 copper ingots. So we'll grab some more copper right here. We've got a couple there. There we go. Okay. We'll chuck this in here like so. And then we're going to need uh, 20, 20 of the iron plates, right? I'm sorry. My memory is like a goldfish sometimes, especially once we get on camera. Yeah. So we will need to grab the press mold like so. And we'll put that here. And then we should be able to say, uh, let's do that. And we'll put three more on there. And we'll let that go. And that's kind of loud. Yep, boom. All right. So now we're waiting for the plates to come through. Let's see if we can work on, say, the uh, steel. Uh, let's check in here again. We'll need the steel fence. So we'll see what we need for that. So, steel fence. All right. And we need eight of those, right? So, we'll need three sets of this. So, that's a couple of steel rods each. And then some steel ingots. So, let's see what we can do there. We've got iron, aluminium. We don't need the aluminium right now. And I don't think we need the iron rods. We'll see once we get a little more into this. Okay. Okay. Uh, just those two sets. Okay. And we'll do like that and like that and like that. Okay. That should give us plenty of the steel fence. We've got that. And then the light engineering blocks. We are done there. Okay. If you're wondering about this, I smelted up some nether brick in the, um, in those furnaces there a little earlier. So uh, that is what we are doing there. All right, so let's come over to this thing and we will say boom and boom. That should give us the iron mechanical components that we need. And then let's take a look at the light engineering block. And then we can actually come around to uh, craft or building this whole thing. I don't have enough stuff. What am I missing? We're missing iron. Three iron. For want of three iron. Do we have any more over here? Oh, I'm going to have to dip into the iron ore and smelt that up. But we should be good to go after that. All right. So, waiting on iron. If I'd known that, we could have had that done already. But, oh well. You win some, you lose some. But I think we're almost there. We're almost there. And... So we're going to build this thing up here so I can show you how it works. But we're going to eventually move it down into our main area down there so we can process all these ores. But I wanted to show you this up here 
And uh, once I start processing wires, I'll be able to create more of these capacitors and more of the wire, and we can carry the IF. Ooh, ooh. I don't want you. Um, just do this real quick. There we go. Okay. Don't want anything spawning up here at nighttime. That would be a bad thing. But yeah, so we'll be able to make more of these wires and carry the IF down into our main area down there. But um, yeah, I wanted to get the ore doubling going first. All right, so now we should be able to say, uh, or look at our required materials, light engine. I haven't built the light engineering blocks, uh, this other set. Now we can say, yes, we have all of it. Okay, so let's go right here. We've got steel scaffolding all uh, right there. So six, what, three by two. And then we've got light engineering blocks right there. So let's get that going. Where is the input going to be? Input machines processing speed depends on the power supply to it. Okay. Control panel is at the front. The front wide side. Okay. Um, does it stay where the power goes in? No, it does not say that. So we will just have to build it and see if we need to redo the whole thing. So uh, we've got a little bit of space right here. So this is what we're going to do like that. And then uh, not the heavy engineering block. In fact, we can put that away. Yep. Okay, good. And then like so. Okay. And then I'm going to have to be careful up top there. In fact, let us get, uh, we've got the wire cutters. Let's do that. Okay. So that we don't have any issues whatsoever. Okay. Um, we may still have issues there, but we should be fine for now. Okay. Uh, let's take a sleep real quick just so that we don't have any issues on lighting and all of that fun stuff on the YouTube video. And then bring our engineer's manual down and we'll go up to the next level, light engineering block, and then redstone engineering. Okay. And then the hopper's all on top. Okay. I think I can handle that. So we'll get that right there. And then more light engineering blocks. No, uh, one of you goes right there. Let's grab that guy. And you go along the back like so. Grab our steel fence. Uh, it said eight. Yep. So it goes around like this. Okay. And then hoppers. And then that's facing down like so. And maybe we'll put a torch right there. And then we should be able to form this thing. Uh, not like that. Maybe it's the one right here. No. Look back at, at this. Okay, structure is formed by right-clicking the central block of the front. Front is the wide side of the structure, which has a light engineering block at the bottom. So maybe at the wide side? Did I build this correctly? Let's take a look here. Redstone signal control, right clicking the central block of the front. Oh, how about right here? Boom, there we go. Okay, so output is going to be right there. And what we will do is we'll make just a simple wooden storage crate we'll put that right there and then okay where does if go in okay it goes in right there um not quite in a an orientation that i would want but uh we we may be able to swing this so what we'll do is uh, see if we can make some more scaffolding. Let's do that. We might have enough in our inventory. So scaffolding. Like this. I mm, Do I have some? I have some down in... Uh, down, down in the hidey hole down below. But 
Uh, we should be fine here. So let's do that and that and that. Okay. And let's grab one of these wire relays and we'll also get a connector. And we should be able to put a connector on top here and here. Okay. And then we'll take, do we have wire? We've just got the one. So let's make a little bit more wire. I think I've got enough for this. Let's see, wire coil. Should be able to do that. Do, yes, yes we can. Okay. So let's take that, go up there, that, and go there. Okay, so now we have energy going into that thing. And what we will do is hopefully not shock ourselves and also not fall into there. But uh, we're going to take, uh, I've been waiting for this for a long time. I'll tell you that. Uh, let's, let's clear out the inventory some, shall we? Uh, what else can we do? Uh, chuck, chuck this right there. Okay. Brick, put brick down in here. Uh, any more? Yes. Okay. And then wood planks where, you know, we'll just put that in there like so. Okay. And then the tools, they've all been going here. Uh, we're out of room. That's fine. That's fine for now. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to show you how uh, first we'll do, we'll do one iron ore, nickel ore, bauxite that's pretty pretty exciting copper i'm very excited about because yeah this should be doubling and then we're going to try a couple of other things we're just going to get some some cobblestone and some some bone okay just to show you about the bone by the way if you put this in here uh you get three bone meal right but let's see about getting some uh you know what we we could have done the scaffolding, where did it go? There it is. Let's do this. Okay. Let's make the scaffolding right here. Okay. And up. And then what we're going to do is chuck the bone into there. You hear it makes a little noise. And then we'll come down here and we get six. Oh my, that's that's awesome. And so the reason why this is exciting about the about the bone meal is because I need to do some decorating and I'm going to do decorating with uh, white stained glass around the base. And so the next time we're together, we will be taking care of that. But let's see if anything happens to cobblestone. Makes gravel. Okay. Okay. I think we can deal with that. And then gravel should be able to go to sand. Yes, it does. Oh boy. This is good. So we'll have a way of making sand. I don't have to go over to our our desert that we went to in the first episode. Don't have to visit that. And I don't have to tear apart any of the surroundings around here like that and that. I've, I've done enough. I don't want to have to worry about that. All right. So the copper ore, take a look at that. And you should see a theme here. You get two copper grit. And then what you can do with the copper grit is put that in here and each copper grit will give you one ingot. So instead of smelting one of these ore blocks and getting one ingot, you get, uh, it's a little bit more of a process, but hey, we've got, we've got ore doubling going on. I'm just going to throw in each of these items and it only processes one at a time. So we'll just do that. Pretty exciting. Oh boy. That's awesome. That's awesome. So we got ore doubling going on. You see that? This is very exciting. All right. Well, uh, that, that is pretty much what we wanted to do. What did I, did I throw in two aluminum? I think I did. Or two bauxite. I think, I think I did. Anything else that we can chuck in there? I know you can throw mobs in there and that gives you their, uh, their mob drops. How about some wood? Um, one thing I should have brought is a piece of no, that's not going to do anything. Okay. We just kind of lose it. And yeah. So I don't want to go in there because what will happen is it will it will hurt me. So 
we're not going to jump in there. Instead, we will smelt the rest of this stuff up. Uh, okay, I got it back. Okay, that's cool. Chuck that in there. And yeah, I'm kind of worried about those, those wires right there. They're a little close to the walkway. But we should be able to just sneak in here. We'll get the nickel grit going. We've got the uranium going, so we'll be able to work on some other stuff in the future. Some passive, uh, some passive RF or IF generation. So anyway, I think, I think that just about does it. That was the main, main project for today. We are not going to be staying up here. Instead, we're going to move this down into our hidey hole. But again, that's going to require moving IF production. We're going to keep the water wheel up here. We're going to maybe add in some more windmills all around the base. And we need to put capacitors behind them and carry all of that down into the uh, hidey hole down there. But that is going to be something I do off camera. So, so yeah, just to let you know how that's all going to go. But I do know, you know, we should probably get some of this ore processing Maybe we'll do half a stack of, of copper. And, and then this also means that we can throw up our, our steel production in earnest. So, so yeah, we're going to get that going. And that's rather loud. But I can turn that down in post-processing. I don't want to throw too many of these in. We've got to be mindful of the despawn time as well. You see how slow it's kind of going? And what is that doing for our IF production? You know, it's, we're still doing all right. How about over here? Okay, so that's draining over there. So it is taking a decent amount out of the system. We don't have anything else processing, really. This is all done right here. So maybe a few more capacitors should do the trick and let those get, get stored up. But yeah, there we go. So hopefully you enjoyed if you did a like, ooh, we get a little bit of gold out of that. That's cool. Okay, I like that. Well, anyway, let's turn around here. Let's take off the, the armor and we will say again. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, a like is always appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, think about subscribing so you're up to date with everything else going on, on the channel. That's going to be it for now. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.